In this video, you will be traveling with me to Cebu. Cebu Island is one of the most visited islands not just in the Philippines, but in the whole world. Very recently, Cebu opened the longest and tallest bridge in the Philippines, the Cebu Cordova Bridge. If you're driving along the bridge, you can look outside of your car window and see New Star Resort. New Star Resort is a brand new, top-ranking, five-star resort in Cebu. We were invited to New Star to enjoy their their brand new Spanish restaurant, Barcino. Barcino New Star proudly offers a seaside view of Cebu and we will be enjoying a menu prepared by Spanish native and executive chef Nicholas Diaz. You will be eating baby eel for the first time with me and we will be enjoying authentic Spanish jamon that was cut right next to our table. But first, let's hop into the pool and meet some new friends. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Haruka, Ayaka, Miwa, Miori, Mariko. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. After a swim, don't you get super hungry? Luckily, we have a feast ahead of us. We have arrived in Barcino. What immediately caught my eye was the gorgeous sea view of Cebu. Being so close to the water only elevated this dining experience. I felt like I was in Malibu, California. While I was taking a look at the menu, my tummy started grumbling and my mouth started to water. Everything on the menu looked absolutely delicious. I was over 16 hours fasted and I couldn't wait to enjoy this meal. A dish that really piqued my interest was baby eel. I've had Japanese style eel or unagi, but I've never had the opportunity to try baby eel until today. This is baby squid. Baby eels. Sorry. I'm thinking eels. This is baby eels. They're just like noodles. They're good. I could use this in my pasta, so it's protein and non-carb. <laughs> Next, we had not a plate, but a shelf of Spanish tapas. Each of these tapas had a different topping, but my favorite one from the shelf had a new combination for me, cheese and jam. Can you tell I love trying new things? The cheese is super creamy, but you get the sweetness from the jam, and then the bread just holds it together. <laughs> As a kid, I was an aficionado of high-class cuisine. My favorite high-class meal was ham and Swiss Cracker Stacker Lunchables by Kraft. I'm happy to say I enjoyed Barcino's take on this classic. The next course was Barcino's Beef Salpicao. The combination of melt-in-your-mouth beef and buttery soft mashed potatoes was a home run. It's really good. It's probably my favorite thing here, but I'm a meat guy. Years ago, I visited Spain and experienced Spanish jamón for the very first time. Jamón is not cut from normal pink pigs, but Iberico hogs. Iberico hogs can be identified by their slender legs and black hooves. In Spain, the term pata negra refers to the black hoof that remains on the ham throughout the curing process. The fat veins running through their muscles and the extensive curing process results in the experience we will be enjoying today, an exceptional complex taste with a hint of sweetness. I'm grateful to be able to share this experience with you, the person watching this video now. So good. <laughs> Next time you eat hamon, my tip would be not to chew. Just let the delicate slice sit on your tongue and enjoy the flavor. Our first dessert is tarta de chocolat. This is like a crunchy bottom, it's really good. Our finale is my favorite of all time, strawberry cheesecake. Let's go for it. When I started this channel, I dreamed of going on trips just like this one to Cebu. I dreamed of delicious food. I dreamed of making new friends. I dreamed of stunning views. I dreamed of people like you enjoying this experience with me through YouTube videos I would create. I hope you enjoyed our time together and I will see you in the next video.